Hello everybody, I'm Mark Pricer. I'd like to welcome you back to the Quest for Thunder. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, this channel is dedicated to finding a sailboat, refitting it, and then sailing it around the world. And my wife Jean and I are right in the middle of looking for the sailboat that we're going to call Thunder. And in fact, today's episode, we're looking at a Shannon 38. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Shannon, do a little research. You'll find that they're built in uh, Bristol, Rhode Island, and uh, people refer to them as the little icebreakers. And the reason is because they are bulletproof. They uh, do not skimp, and they do not cut corners. Uh, these boats are built. Uh, it's incredible um, when you start reading about how they, how they build them, the attention that they put into the hulls and how the hulls are laid up. Um, they do a, a single layup per day, then the next day they grind down, uh, make it fair, and then they do the next part of the layup, and that's how they do it. Um, everything is uh, bonded to the hull. Uh, it's, it's incredible when you start doing the research. Uh, Shannon is a custom uh, boat shop, so you would expect the quality to be uh, pretty high. And then when you get inside the boat, you start looking at uh, the, the attention to detail in there, the joinery. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. They, they use no veneers. Everything is solid wood. Um, all the all the deck fittings, all the all the attachment points, everything is incredibly stout, uh, top grade quality. Um, just a very very nice boat. So we were really uh, excited to go see this 38. Um, so we hope you enjoy it. Um, if this is your first time joining us, um, uh, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, we hope that you enjoy the video and that you'll come back and see us uh, again on our next episode. So until then, fair winds and following seas. Bye. Shannon 38, we really enjoyed looking at this boat. Classic lines, very well laid out, nice design. Uh, just a real pretty boat. There are obviously some maintenance issues with the boat. The boat has uh, been maintained okay, but not, not perfectly well. Uh, you'll, you're looking at the main there, and right in front of it is a club-footed staysail, just in front of where Jean's sitting. And then up forward, you'll see a, a double furling system up there off the bowsprit. Very interesting. Um, I've never seen a configuration like that before. I like the idea of having a, a hanged-on sail at the, at the staysail. That way you can change it out fairly easy. The decks, the, the non-skid on the decks look really good. Um, there are There is some uh, cracking here and there, but it's really minor. Um, the sail bags do need to be changed. And we didn't get a chance to look at the sails, but I imagine they're probably in need of repair or in need of changing too, because a lot of the things on the boat that just, you know, just were left to sit. Um, so Shannon, uh, their standing rigging is not wire rope. It's a uh, solid, um, stainless steel uh, bars so we're not real sure about that but uh, they looked good they were they were they were taut they didn't seem to have any bins or warps in them so obviously a survey will tell us more about that it is a catch rig as you can see here you can also see that some of the teak on the outer uh, uh, parts of the cockpit there have been just kind of left go to gray uh, which would obviously need some work which is indicative of the condition that we found on the outside of the boat it, it's clean uh, but it's not, it's not perfect. But then again, it is a 1982 boat. Inside the nav station, uh, you can see right off the bat that the electronics <laughs> need, need improvement. That is an old CRT radar right there, and there's a cover for it. Uh, I was joking about doing scope head plotting on that one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's an old boat. It hasn't been updated. Uh, they were in the boat cleaning when we were there looking at it, and it is fairly clean inside. There's the three burner gimbal stove, and there's a pretty good amount of storage around the galley. Um, I'm not real sure what some of these panels are. We'd have to look at them further. Uh, but you, you can see these cushions are definitely not early 80s, late 70s. They would have to go. The joinery inside this boat is phenomenal. The woodwork is unbelievable. Um, it's all solid. They do not use veneers in uh, Shannon's. So everything is is beautiful. The, the the decks are all solid. There are no veneer decks. There's no plywood. They're all solid, uh, holly and teak. Uh, it's just a really well built boat. The um, the ports are all solid bronze. Opening port lights uh, with dual dogs. Um, as you can see here, um, how the uh, cabinetry looks. It's really really pretty. Um, the berthing layout for this is there's a, there's a, a V up forward, and then there's a, a pilot berth uh, there above the settee. Typical marine head, nothing too uh, 
nothing to get excited about there. Uh, it was clean. Um, I'm assuming everything works in there. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a typical head. We would remove that head and put in a composting toilet. There's the uh, diesel heater there uh, next to the cleaning supplies. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so great boat. Uh, we were real excited. Now, this, this passageway that goes into the forward uh, V-berth, man, that is extremely narrow. I literally had to squeeze to get in there. I don't know why it narrows like that right there, but the V-berth opens up, but the passage into the V-berth, as you see here, whew, very, very tight. Uh, great boat. We really enjoyed looking at it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, too. Uh, we're not sure where we're at with this one, but, uh, you know, we, we did have fun. Uh, looking at it, talking to the broker. And Shannon does make a really, really great boat. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, being with us here on Quest for Thunder. And we're wishing everyone fair winds and following season. We hope that uh, you'll consider subscribing and being a part of this uh, quest. Also, please uh, feel free to share our videos with your family and friends. And if you like what you see, comment. We'd love to hear from you. So uh, from Quest for Thunder, see you.